Hello and welcome to another Wilderness Tamed Gardening video and in this one we're looking at the scourge of vine weevils. Dun, dun, dun. You may come across a situation like this where you've got a relatively healthy looking plant in this case it's a hookere, uh, still showing signs of life even though it's a, a bleak February day but when you go to move it it literally lifts out off the compost and there's virtually virtually no root system left at all you'll probably find that the culprit is one of these. Let me show you a few more. These are vine weevil grubs. Uh, there's a very small one in amongst them there. Three larger ones. Little white grub. Um, very clean. It doesn't seem to cling to them at all. A uh, little brown face, but they will infest compost and soil. Um, they're particularly prone to or fond of certain evergreen plants, uh, very fond of Primula and Polyanthus. So you need to be careful when you're buying plants from garden centres just to tap a plant out of the pot and, and what I'm going to do is chuck these on the driveway because no doubt a local robin will come and eat those. Oh, I dropped one on the path there. Yeah, when you buy a plant just tap it out and have a look around because the vine weevils generally come to the edge of the compost, the edge of the root ball. So they'll, they'll come up to the plant pot and then just work their way around the perimeter of the root ball. Uh, and you'll see the little, like a little tunnel and the chewed roots that they've worked their way through. They'll also get right into the crown just below the roots as they did with the hookere. But these seem fairly Vine weevil free. Yep, good healthy root system. No signs of vine weevils, so we're okay. But unfortunately, we can't plant anything into that because uh, it's full of vine weevil. I have a bit more of a dig around. There's another one. There's another one. And a couple. So we can't plant anything into there those to the robin because uh, anything we put in there is going to be eaten to bits by the vine weevils and they're probably quite deep down in there as well so yeah that's all going to have to be scrapped uh, and fresh compost put in before we plant anything new in there so I'll do that and come back and we'll do some planting up Another thing often found in compost, and people usually mistake it for ants' eggs, and it's these, these granular slow release fertilizer granules, capsules, or whatever. Um, there are various brands, there's a very well known one, it's been around for a long time. But these are little capsules that you add to your compost or sometimes it's already added in to some of the proprietary brands and it's just uh, a little slow release capsule full of um, minerals and nutrients that plants need to grow and, and depending on temperature and the amount of moisture uh, these will release their nutrients over a, a sort of prolonged 
protracted period, um, sort of several months or so. So don't go thinking that those are ants eggs. Uh, and to be honest, I would not like to meet the ant that was big enough to lay an egg that size. It would be just shy of the size of a hamster, I would think. So yeah. Um, and if we pop one of these, there you go, it's just full of full of a liquid mush. But uh, oozes out through the, the coating and is then taken up by the roots of plants. So we have a dig around in this. Oh there's another vine weevil. Um, out his little border compost there. Classic vine weevil. I'll just turn around. There you go. See the little biting mouth parts there, those little pincers. Well adapted to chewing through quite tough roots. Uh, well, they're very fond of clematis roots as well. Used to spend many a miserable hour in the polytunnel of the local clematis nursery, tapping out every pot, every plant from every pot, and searching through the compost for these little blighters. But then we'd collect them all in a, a little tub on the bench and uh, the local robins would actually come into the polytunnel, hop up at the bench and feed on all these vine weevil grubs and swift moth grub grubs as well. Another common pot plant pest. So there you go, vine weevil. Up to, what is that, almost a centimetre long, eight, nine mil. For those of you working in black and white and living in the past, that's about uh, 16 30 tooths of an inch, whatever the hell that is. So if you have had compost, pots, tubs and troughs and plants affected by vine weevils, do not add the compost or the plant matter to your own home compost heap. Always put it into, if you get them, local authority waste disposal facilities. Uh, so this trug has some vine weevil killed plants and compost in. I'm going to add it to this. Local authority waste bin. <sighs> Smooth. So here's a cheeky adult vine weevil beetle. Uh, again about uh, a centimetre long, maybe a bit more. Long proboscis usually found at night and they will decimate your evergreen shrubs as shown here. Enjoy, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.